Hey guys, Joey Blue here. I want to uh, talk a little bit about the union operator. So first I need to get into a database. I'm using the new wide world importers. So let me go grab a table and let's just grab the people table out of here. So I grab a new query, um, pull the people table over and do a select star from it. And so the people table has 1111 records but I only want to have a few records, so let's narrow that down. So I'm going to say where the person ID is between 1 and 5. So that's going to give us um, just a small subset of 5 records. So the one I use the most is called Union All. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy that select statement. I'm going to put Union all right below it and then I'm going to paste in that select statement again. So let's run that and see what happens. In this case we get 10 records now. So we got the first one through five and then we got it again. So the union all operator basically appends the second set onto the first set. So what if we change this with to union without the all? So if we do that right there, rerun it, you can see that we've only got five records. So the union operator, without the all on it, actually gets rid of duplicates. So to better demonstrate this, let's do one more query. So I'll run the union all again. I've got ten records where I duplicate it one through five. Let's change these betweens to four and nine. So if I run this, you can see we got one, two, three, four, five, and then we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this was the second query, the one below the union all, and this is the first query up here. And you can see that the number, the person ID of four and five are in both sets and they're duplicated up. If I take the all off of here, and run that, the 4 and 5 is no longer duplicated. So that's basically how you use the union and union all. Um, if you have any questions, just post some questions below and I'll, I'll try to get to them as I get a chance. Um, and also go visit SQL Training Online for other tips and you can sign up for um, some of my free courses over there too.